Right now, we're speaking about a time that's 300,000 years after the events of the Big Bang. But you're looking back even farther than that by looking at the effects of the gravitational waves on the microwave background. And that's what you built the telescope for in the South Pole. So imagine you're in a room right now. You're looking around your room. You have a horizon beyond which you can't see. It's called the walls of the room that you're in. But if something happened outside, let's say somebody lit off a firecracker outside of the room that you're in, you couldn't see it with light, but you could hear it with sound. So in other words, you can see things that are farther away. And as we initiated our conversation, something that's farther away, we're seeing light from when it was more primitive, when it was older, when it was more distant means it translates by this finite speed of light to an older, more primitive existence. If the explosion was loud enough, even if you were deaf, you could detect the movement of the walls. That's right, yes. And so I, I've heard that, you know, people in the FBI, you know, they use the vibration of windows, uh, bouncing a laser off the windows because the people inside the room are talking. It's causing reverberations of the glass and they can read out and transduce the sonic vibrations of the air molecules using the reverberations of glass and bouncing a laser off it. As I said, we can go back from Friday today, 13.8, billion years, that someday we can go back and that first three minutes of that day formed the elements, all the hydrogen that's in your body's water, all the hydrogen that's in the oceans of the entire planet and all planets perhaps, all of the hydrogen was formed in that first three minute period. 